Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're posing the question, so in fact, LTR visas, the so-called long-term residence visas, which as I've discussed in other videos, don't mean to sound like a broken record, does not provide lawful permanent residence here in Thailand. In essence, it's sort of a long stay visa. That said, I, I, you know, in the sense that it's residence, it allows you to stay for a long period. I sort of get the colloquial usage of the term. But when we're talking in immigration, one would think you would want to use terms of art with specificity. And residence for most people implies the ability to live there forever. To be clear, LTR visas don't grant that. It's a non-immigrant visa. It's just a special non-immigrant visa, unlike other standard non-immigrant visas under the Immigration Act. That said, as I've discussed in other videos, I've failed to see LTR visas have been touted as not needing to do 90-day reporting. And I've explained this in other videos that I failed to see how that's possible, especially when reading the Immigration Act in 1979, because non-immigrant visa holders of all stripes, unless you have lawful permanent residence, you need to do 90-day reporting. Now, I've had folks who have contacted me, not clients, apparently just viewers of the channel who have contacted me and provided information where they have communicated with the relevant, in this case, the BOI, the relevant folks who issue the LTR visa, and they get answers that to them sound very strange. In fact, answers that are rather nonsensical under certain circumstances. That said, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Immigration Updates, 90-Day Online Reporting. Quoting directly, the immigration police said, said the quote, 90 days online notification, unquote, service initially covers foreign investors who have received promotional privileges from the Board of Investment. It would later be expanded to cover other kinds of visas, he said. Now, as we've discussed in other videos, this LTR visa is a creation of BOI. And it, it seems that that must be what they're talking about. Oh, you don't need to do 90-day reporting by going to an immigration office. There's an online system for doing 90-day reporting. Again, all of this has been rather ad hoc, for lack of a better term, in its implementation. And again, I failed to see where the legal authority to not do 90-day reporting exists. And as I stated a moment ago, we've had folks that have contacted us that have been in contact with the, with the folks that you know, pertain to LTR visas. We process them ourselves, but I'm not in the, interested in getting into a big you know, philosophical quid pro quo regarding the statutory authority for not doing 90-day reporting. But we have had folks that have contacted us that have provided responses wherein it's not really clearly outlined how they claim that 90-day reporting is not a factor in the LTR visa process because, again, the LTR visa does not grant lawful permanent residence. Immigration Act 79 is clear. you got to be a lawful permanent resident in order to be exempt from 90-day reporting. Therefore, the LTR visa, based on just sort of a rudimentary understanding of the way law works, the LTR visa wouldn't be covered by that. It seems, though, there's some kind of, I guess, miscommunication regarding that as, yes, in fact, it is a requirement. It's just those types of visas that are issued out of the BOI can avail themselves as of now of a, how do you want to put it, a more improved 90-day reporting online system but that 90-day reporting online system will shortly be available to the public at large. So again, I wanted to make this video for no other reason than to clarify the issue of 90-day reporting with regard to LTR visa. And it does appear that, yeah, 90-day reporting is required as part of the LTR scheme. And there is just sort of a different mechanism, i.e. this online mechanism, which can be used in order to fulfill that requirement. 